Hello friends, this is Alexandre from Renault Studio. I want to show you today a quick tutorial that you will find here in the learn section uh, of my web website uh, studiorenard.com. Uh, basically, it's an answer to this um, this question here from Dan Lane nine nine one seven. He asked if it's possible to have the uh, locator orient by itself to the normal. Uh, so the answer is yes, and uh, I had some time to uh, to create a new tutorial for that. So I hope you enjoy. So uh, yeah, before uh, the the locator here was only uh, uh, get the position at the location from the recast, but now in the new scene that I've made, it's now following the the orientation based on the normal. You see all these little line here are uh, the normal of the plane. So it gets uh, a nice uh, rotation at the location recast. So yeah, let's start with this and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how I've made. Okay, so now we're gonna start from a new scene, from the fresh scene. So what we have to do in first is create a plane uh, here, plane. I'm gonna scale it uh, to 10 or 15 just to have a better view. Um, and then I'm gonna grab the, the middle of the, the plane with the vertex uh, mode. And I'm gonna grow the selection like this and bring it up. And now I can uh, delete the history and also I want to uh, display the uh, normal information of this plane so I'm gonna go here on polygon display polygon and uh, go to the vertex normal here and when you unselect it disappears so if you want to uh, to have them uh, shown you just have to go in the wireframe uh, unshaded here so now we have our plane and the uh, normal and uh, what we need is uh, two locator here one two the one is going to be the source recast or recast source and uh, the other one is going to be the recast hit so we can bring the source up here like this and we're gonna we're gonna shoot a raycast down here in the negative y direction so let's do that we're gonna first create a graph here a bifrost graph and then we're gonna bring the we're gonna rename the plane uh, ground so it's cleaner so let's bring the, the ground in the bifrost graph so notice here I drag and drop with the middle mouse button here in the bifrost graph and when I open the node editor you see it automatically connected the shape of the ground to the bifrost graph here in the mesh input so now that we have this we also need to uh, the recast hit here we are gonna plug the translate and the rotation from the bifrost and uh, also uh, the source here we're gonna bring in the source so to do that uh, first we have to create the recast uh, a get recast location and we're gonna change it to map float tree here right click and value type map float tree and then I'm gonna put this in the input and the direction like we said before uh, we said uh, negative y one in the y direction so it recasts uh, to the ground so we have the direction we have the position now the position we see have we have now uh, things to connect here in the position so let's connect let's connect the translate of the source here so now we have data here and now we have to sample property to get the point position at the location where the recast hit the ground 
so let's do this like this and um, let's do that you see it changed to uh, when it, it, it's looking like this it, uh, that's mean it's uh, an array of uh, location and now we don't have an array here so what so now uh, it's gonna it's gonna do an error so we're gonna fan in to get uh, an array because this one is only uh, understand a array so we have to uh, fan in the location here and create a value type of math flow tree here so now everything's look good but the thing is uh, if we have an array here we have to un output only one uh, position so we have to uh, get from array uh, here and we're gonna put index 0 so now with this we have the position if I output here in the here the value yeah so I can to be clean I can like rename port here and uh, say a uh, uh, recast pose so now we have the recast pose here that we can connect to the translate it so now if everything is work fine we should be uh, we should see the magic it doesn't seem to work uh, let's see what I miss oh, okay guys sorry uh, the mistake that I've made I forget to uh, connect the, the output here so now it should work perfectly you see we can also uh, select the the it locator here and the display uh, go in the override and make a color so we can see it better so now you see it follow the surface perfectly excellent now what we want is uh, the locator that uh, get the normal orientation of the plane so to do that uh, it's not very complicated uh, what you need to do is uh, to sample uh, I can copy these control V and uh, control V again and what we need is to get the um, the normal and the tangent at the location here so we have to connect those here like this and instead of point position here we we're gonna write a uh, point normal and here tangent So with these two data, what we can uh, get is uh, there is a node here called normal and tangent to orientation. So we connect the normal here and the tangent, and uh, we're gonna do another node called uh, quaternion because we have a quaternion here so we are gonna quaternion to rotation vector so let's connect these to that and uh, it's gonna output um, um, it's gonna output a rotation vector here so now what we can do with this is connect the rotation vector to the orientation here there you go so now it doesn't seem to work but there is here you can see there is some rotation information so I think um, the problem is uh, it needs to be uh, multiplied to get uh, the uh, the degree more uh, uh, with a higher value uh, value to to get the uh, right uh, rotation value so what we're gonna do is uh, um, we're gonna multiply here 
we're going to multiply uh, this uh, value by uh, and we're going to output here so the value we're going to put is uh, like uh, 60 or something like this so now you see and we can also uh, play with these uh, You see so at 60 I think it's a good number right now it's, it follow yeah I did not write 60 uh, like this and uh, I, I made some uh, some tests before so I know 60 was a good number but there's probably another way to get the right uh, number so if you guys want to dig into that let's do uh, go ahead and uh, try it but I think uh, with 60 it does uh, the right uh, deformation so there you go you have your uh, raycast that follow the uh, surface orientation and also uh, get the position so rotation and position uh, that's it I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next video ciao